We're here this morning to introduce to the public a vehicle that's been adapted with hybrid technology for law enforcement and public safety usage throughout the county. This is the first vehicle of the county police and I believe the first police vehicle in the county that is adapted in such a fashion to achieve environmental benefits as well as cost savings from the fuel that the vehicle will use rather than just gasoline alone. Let's go take a look, we'll show you how it works. Starts and drives just like a regular vehicle. The switching over is automatic from propane to gasoline. We can see exactly how much propane we have and when it reaches down to the need to fuel propane, it automatically goes to gasoline. This is the fuel tank here. It's located in a place where its size minimally interrupts what we would have to carry through normal patrol purposes. Next to where the gasoline is fueled, this would be the propane. This would be for the gasoline. Instead of paying four and a quarter or 405 a gallon, we're going to be looking at paying $2 or 225 a gallon for propane. Uh, there'll be a big savings there, we hope, and uh, if we can cut our fuel consumption cost in half, we're going to do it. We want to make sure that everything projected to us, particularly the cost factors of what it costs to receive fuel, how much fuel we have to get in quantity, and the mileage, the equivalent of the miles per gallon, are actually what they're portrayed to be. As you might have felt, there's no hesitation on acceleration. We're able to pull out into a lane of traffic. It's identical to gasoline. I'm actually very proud of the county that they're taking this initiative. It seems that it will be cost effective in any interest of the county, the best interest.